Ryan. Solving crimes at the Tucson Police Department is getting a bit easier thanks to a couple of sketch artists doing their part to get criminals off of the streets. Not on your side, Shandrea Thomas caught up with them to find out how they get the job done. With the stroke of a pencil and a brush, Crimes are being solved at the Tucson Police Department. Sketch artists Jessica Leafstone and Krista Kiddo work closely with victims to help them identify suspects. They also make sure victims have time to process their experience. That person is now helping us to do something that could very well help and catch a suspect or bring somebody to justice. It's a very unique um, skill set that Jessica and I have been allowed to cultivate. They've been going through specialized training and certifications while helping investigators with cases for about a year. They also work as crime scene specialists for the department. In crime scene, when we go to certain calls, um, some victims of those crimes will specifically ask for a female. We give victims back a little bit of power that was taken away from them. And it turns out these two are the only sketch artists working at TPD. They interview the victim to get detailed descriptions like eye, face, and nose shape. Investigators also use a formula and books with various features to produce a final product. One of the things that we did touch on is age uh, progression and regression. So adding uh, age or adding years to people or taking years or years off of people's faces. So far, they have about 10 cases between them, and some of their sketches have led to the arrest of sexual assault suspects and others who match their work. If you think that you can describe somebody, then let the officer know. When the artists go to see a victim, they always keep a comfort bag on hand. That's because they need the witness to stay as calm as possible to describe the suspect. We have the resource available to help somebody where there wasn't any surveillance footage available, where say there wasn't any DNA or fingerprints. It's just like an extra tool that's available to someone to be able to identify a suspect. It can take up to four hours to complete a sketch. Shandrea Thomas, KGA 9, on your side.